What's up, comic book fans and collectors of all ages? It's your girl, Miss Toy Diva, and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel, Fast Toys. Yes, guys and ladies, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you some of my comic book variants that I have picked up along the way. Variant covers are highly sought after and collectible and make great additions to anyone's collection. So I'm going to give you a background about variants. Variant covers are like a, a bonus to your comic shop and incentive to order more. So if you have a comic bookshop in your area and they sell variants sometimes you say why the variants are more money because they are rare and highly sought after so and then the comic shop owners have to order a lot say for instance the infinity Gal guardians of the galaxy issue number eight in order to get this variant i'm about to show you they had to order 25 regular copies to get the variant i'm about to show you not only that some variants come in one in fifty one in 75, one in 100, and one in 200, which can be very uh, expensive, especially if you have a J. Scott Campbell or Scotty Young's baby variant. They run between sometimes regular ones, uh, 6 to $10, and sometimes high. So I'm going to show you the uh, regular copy, and then I'm going to show you the variant. This is an Infinity, Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number 8. Which is a great copy, a great uh, standard copy, regular copy. And now I'm going to show you the variant, which is why I'm really excited because the variants are by different artists and it actually looks better than the regular copy. And here is the variant. Yes, you got Thanos and Thor going at it. Some of them have the variant edition right at the bottom on this corner right next to the Marvel, and some of them don't. But you can, guys can see the variant looks amazing and awesome. And like I said, they are a great addition to your collection. And if you guys can get them, get them, because they look so badass. Next, I have the Superman Wonder Woman issue number two. This is the regular copy, which we all know and love. Starting to follow this storyline, and I really, really like it. But again, the variant covers, again, is awesome and amazing. Yes, they have the same storyline inside, but the covers make a difference. And here it is. Is that awesome? That is a nice, sick variant cover. And this is Wonder Woman and Superman. Wonder Woman, that's a nice, nice picture of her. She looks about to be about 22, 23 years old. Really, really nice, awesome, awesome. I really love variants. I love it because it gives me a challenge. Like when, when it comes to the action figures, it's almost like a one in a, a one per case. So a variant is very rare, and it's exciting to go after the regular a copy just as well as the variants. Next I have is Harley Quinn, number zero. And uh, this is awesome by itself because you got 17 artists writing this book. And this is an awesome book. 17 artists all telling me how good I look. Eat your heart out, pudding. This is a nice copy. And inside this copy, which is the regular issue, it has 17 artists. Each page is different. It has different artists and different artwork. And I really love it. Actually, I put this on my pull list, so I'm going to follow this storyline and hopefully get the variants. And I do have a variant for that. And this one is right here. Yes. I was so happy that my comic shop owner put this in my pull list as well. Because nobody was really all asking about it. But now this is highly collectible. I seen this go, this one right here variant, go on eBay for about $20, $25. So collectors are grabbing her. Because, of course, we know Harley Quinn is awesome. You know, collectors love her and they dig her. Gotta have it, gotta grab it. Next, I have another one, the all-new X-Men issue number 18 with Kitty Pride on the cover. I really like this one. Haven't read this one yet. Don't know where this book is uh, is going, but I really want to find out, the, you know, all about it. But I was lucky enough to find a variant edition, and here it is right here. That is nice. Nice. They got their new uh, suits on. Really nice. Now, this variant runs about... Uh, one in 50 so I was lucky enough to pick this up for a great price and I was like wow I was really really surprised to get it went to my comic shop as soon as they opened up because see you know collectors are on these variant covers so you gotta be like 
like action figures. Who, you know, whoever gets it, gets it first. Next, of course, this came out this week. It is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 700.1. Yes, this is a regular cover. Wanted this cover. My comic shop, he, he owner, he put it in the variant cover, but I really wanted this cover because I really like this cover as well. But he was lucky enough because he said that the variant cover, he could order just as much as many variant covers as he could order just as many uh, regular covers for this copy. And that was great because I, I actually got this variant cover right here, right here, and I picked it up for cover price. It is a variant at the bottom right here in the right-hand corner, but I picked this up for cover price, so it didn't add no nothing extra to it, which I was really, really happy because, like I said, variant covers, some of them run between $8, $10 or, uh, or higher. It depends on the variant and the artist and how rare it is. Next, I really, really love this. Oh, my goodness. I'm on this book. It's one out of four. Damien, the son of Batman. Yes. The regular issue is, look at this cover right here. That is nice. I'm following this one. Andy Kubert, I can't wait to see what happens. It's just runs for four issues, and I want us to know what's going on. Can't wait. But again, I'm blown away by the variant cover. Fell in love with this cover. And here it is right here. Bam! Are you kidding me? Look at that. That is so badass. You got Batman's hand at the back. And here comes Damien coming at you. That is awesome. Right there. Fell in love with this cover when I saw it. Had to have it. Had to grab it. You better believe it. I was like, what? What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is awesome. That's why I'm really getting excited and hyped. Caught up in the madness. Caught up in the hype. Caught up in the hunt. And I love it. Next, I have issue number two. Damien, son of Batman. Now, this cover art is awesome. The storyline is great. Really digging this cover art. I'm blown away. Always been blown up. Props out to the artists. Because these cover arts, you know, they are badass. And I'm really into it. Love the storyline as well, but I love the cover art. And this is the issue number two. This is the variant right here. That's nice. You got little Robin and Batman standing there. Nice, plain, and simple. And I really, really like this one. Thought I almost missed it, but when I looked in that comic shop, they had them, and I'm like, yes. Yes, like I said, I got there early, and as soon as I wanted it, there it was. I'm like, yes. I picked it up, added it to my collection. Hopefully, I can get some more. Next, I have a really popular uh, cover as well. And it is, yes, Batman Zero Year 20, number 25. That is nice. I love the emboss of the bat signal and the Batman, of course. And, yeah, and this has had a, a couple of extra variants. I think it was a 1 in uh, 100, but I think it was all white and then the black was embossed. So this is all black embossed. And I really, really like this one. And I'm really glad to have it in my collection. But yes, guys and ladies, there's a variant for this one. They had to order one in 25. Again, they had to order 25 copies of the regular issue just to get this awesome, awesome one. And here it is from the zero, zero year. And here he is. Boom. Is that sick looking? That is super sick looking cover. Nice. When I saw this variant, blown away. Look at the blimps. I like how the blimps are coming at you with the buildings and the bats. And, of course, that Batman got his hand out with his bat. Oh, my goodness. This is so badass cover. Really like it. But I like how he has the blimps in the way the buildings are shaped. They look like a skeleton's face. Uh, hopefully that's the way he wanted to show it, but that's the way I'm seeing it. It is so awesome and amazing. Love that variant cover right there. That is so badass. So guys, there you have it. Ladies, there you go. You like this video, please hit the like button. And feel free to subscribe to get my latest and newest videos. Share this video with your family and your friends. Just wanted to show you this video of the regular covers as well as the variant covers. I love variant covers. They're a great addition to your collection. And just, you know, go out and enjoy yourself with the comic books, with the action figures. And I hope you all find what you're looking for.
the next video, I'm going to be having some die cast cars in the house. Yes, either it's going to be Matchbox Hall or Hot Wheels Hall. And I'm going to show them to you. So definitely stay locked in. Stay tuned for more videos, more haul videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Keep collecting and enjoy your comic books. This is your girl, Miss Toy Diva. Can you dig it? Holla back, y'all.